We are ready to go. Kansas City from the Summit League in the NCAA's Division I. They're wearing the whites. Greenville from the Slayak in the NCAA's Division III. They are wearing the orange. The tip is up, and we are underway in the first game of the 2020 Negro Leagues Baseball Museum tip-off classic. In the corner, a wide open three for Travis Dickey, and he knocks it down. Greenville strikes first. Get used to this, folks. They shoot the ball well. They shoot it a lot. They average 135 points per game last year, a fact that stands out to every Everybody that looks at their st uh, their record, I'm sure. Josiah Alec down low, puts it up. He can't get it to go. Gets his own miss and puts it back up and in. Kansas City back to within three to two. And Kansas City's got the rebound in the form of Demarius Pitts. High pass for Johnson. Skips it back up top for Demarius Pitts. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Foul line for Bolden down low. McKissick lays it up and in. Nice find for Bolden and McKissick with the finish. His first bucket of the season. Blowing by is Romello Ball, and he lays it up and in. He smokes Jonathan Bolden on that one, lays it in with the right hand. And he will head to the line for the first time here this evening. Misses the end of a and one, and the putback is up and good by Caden Johnson. Missed the one and got the two. 4 nothing run for Greenville, who presses heavily, and it works for him here. Cameron Vinsel steals it. Loose ball, fake foul line jumper for Cooley, nearly an up and down, finds Bankowski for a right wing three, no good. Cooley secures the rebound and it's knocked out of his hands by Camgain and fielded by Josiah Alec. Very reliable contributor last year as a true freshman. Down low, Marvin Nesbitt will throw it down. What a pass from all the way down the other side of the floor, nearly a three-quarter court pass. Instead, it will be a turnover. McKissick will inbound. Pitts rifles it down low for Alec and he will lay it down with two hands. Easy does it for Josiah Alec. Got his man to jump up and finished it off. Knocked away by Zion Williams, but Greenville is able to control. Jared Johnson, this way for Henry Johnson. Fakes the three. Now he will step back and take the three, and he rattles it home. Nice shot for Henry Johnson. Kansas City now leads by 14, their largest lead of the game. This way for Romello Ball. Drives in against Alec. Reverse layup, too high, no good. Henry Johnson secures the rebound. It's blocked partially by Williams, but Johnson is still able to put it up and in. Nice follow by Johnson, who's then run into on the far side by Marvin Nesbitt. Camgain sees a double team, is able to spin out of it. Jaden Johnson across for Williams, down low for Nesbitt. He elevates for a two-hand slam. The Greenville bench wanted a travel or a walk. Did not get it, and Nesbitt throws down his second dunk. A deep three from Dickey swirls around and out. Wow, that was a deep shot, and what a follow from Greenville. Jared Johnson is left unmarked, tapped back to him by Romello Ball, and Jared Johnson knocks in the second chance bucket. One of the top options off the bench is a true freshman for Billy Donlin in Kansas City. Here's a right wing three from Jared Johnson, not even close. Offensive board for Romello Ball. Shot clock will not reset. Into the corner it goes. Up top for Dickey, a left wing three. That's short off the front of the rim, and Greenville secures another offensive board. Johnson into the corner is a three from Tyler Jelks, and he knocks it down. No, nope, just inside the arc, they will say, but either way, a long range two. Ankles on the line for Jelks. Headman pass, Rusink is left wide open, and he will throw it down. Four or five times we've seen that now for Kansas City. Jared Johnson left wide open, and he answers with a three. Greenville basketball, they give up an easy two, but Kansas City does not get back to defend a three, and Jared Johnson says thank you very much. Nesbitt in the corner, down low for Alec. Gets around his man and lays it home easily. 21 points for Josiah Alec. Tying the mark that he set last game. Bankowski the other way, lays it up, counted, and a foul against Sam Martin. Nice work for Bankowski. Northern Colorado also had to back out of the tournament earlier on this week, so it became a three-team field. Johnson drives right in, floats it up with the right hand, and lays it in. Jared Johnson scored 21 points, a career high in his first varsity game, last time out against Samford. He's up to nine points here this evening. McKissick, Tomahawk pass all the way down for Alec. Two and a foul for Josiah Alec. A season-high 23 points, and he'll head to the line to try to make it 24. Jelnitz into the corner for Kenneth Cooley. Puts on the show against Jacob Johnson. Now tries to drive in reverse layup. Good. Kenneth Cooley. He's up to 13. That now leads the team. Headman pass from McKissick. Finds Josiah Alec, and he throws it down once again. Vinsel decided to not foul that time, and a great find from McKissick. Better finish from Alec. He's up to 29. 
Three from Cooley is blocked by Nesbitt into the hands of Alec. Nesbitt now finds a trailing McKissick. Back to Nesbitt, and he lays it up and in. What a pass from McKissick. Tic-tac-toe, and Nesbitt lays it in. He's still perfect from the field. Fankowski into the corner. Jalna is a right wing three. Can't get it to go. And another board for Marvin Nesbitt Jr. He will slow it down. McKissick sees the double team. Able to avoid it. Now charges head of steam. Bullet pass for a trailing Lennox. And Cayman Lennox lays it up and in. The Kansas City offense is cooking. This is what they can do. 14-12 left in the second half. And McKissick will now try to find an inbound. Greenville still continuing their heavy press. McKissick's pass is picked off by Travis Dickey, who's playing with four fouls. Into the corner, wide open three. Romello Ball swirls it home. Nice steal by Dickey. The fine and Ball delivers. 24-point game now. Nesbitt with another rebound for Kansas City. Zion Williams the other way. Picks up his dribble, scoops it up and in. Kenneth Cooley did not want to contest with four fouls. A relatively routine bucket for Williams. There's another shot on the left wing for Kendall Edmond. Greenville's number zero, and he can't get it to go. Williams, touch pass, McKissick, and Marvin Nesbitt drops it in. 31-point game, largest lead for Kansas City today. 17 combined fouls in the second half alone. We've played eight minutes of game time. They can't hit the free throw, and so Sam Martin with his four fouls comes back up and charges down and lays it in with the right hand. 98-65 now for Kansas City. Tyler Jelks puts on the brakes. His pass hits Dickey in the head, but Dickey able to control. Underhand pass to Johnson. Johnson spins around. Jacob Johnson can't float at home. Loose ball wrenched away by Kansas City. Cam Gain, head man pass for Martin, two on one. Sam Martin back to back buckets, and Kansas City has cracked the century mark. It's 100 to 65. Greenville is very used to seeing 100 points on both directions. Down low, wide open, bucket is good for Caden Bozer. True freshman from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, in his college debut. First bucket over the century mark, and Vinsel answers with a three for Greenville. Nice answer for. Cameron Vinsel. Richard freshman Martin, true freshman Johnson. And the aforementioned Caden Johnson will try to leave it off for Cooley. Stripped momentarily by Bozer. Ball on the ground. Bozer across half court and Zion Williams picks it up. Step over by Zion Williams and he lays it up and in. What a move for the senior from Maybrook, New York. A young lineup now on the floor for Kansas City. Their regulars might be done. Martin headman pass for Bozer. Gets Vinsel to miss, and Bozer puts it up and in. Nice find for Sam Martin, and Bozer has been really solid. That's coming off the bench. Working that size mismatch. Here is Zach Neighbors, his first action of the game. Leads for Jalniz, and he buries a three. A long time coming for Ralph Jalniz. His first made field goal of the game. He's now one of seven. That was a nice shot and a good find from Neighbors in his first action. Down low, Bozer is wide open, and he will lay it in with the right hand. Kansas City has capitalized on almost all of those opportunities after the first couple of minutes. Jalnas nearly saves it, but he throws it right into the hands of Lennox. Lennox all the way to the rack, and he lays it up and in. Another easy basket for the Ruse. They've capitalized on their opportunities. you got to give them credit. Can't give them all those easy opportunities. Jalnas into the corner for Neighbors. Rusink tries to mark him. Neighbors going to work against Teddy Rusink. Lays it up, count it, and a foul for Neighbors. And the Panther bench is ecstatic. Greenville has shot 36% from the floor, which is okay, but not really that great. Kansas City is shooting 76% from the floor, and that's going to go up as Bolden is left wide open for a two-hand jam. 130 now to 84. Bankowski splits through. Behind the back pass. Three from Edmund. No good. It has been that kind of day for Greenville. Offensive board for Curtis. And he pits it up and in. Nice play by Bankowski. That offensive possession was all credit to him. Panthers still pressing. Lennox navigates the baseline. Lofts it up for Paxton Payne. He can waste some clock now. He's got some daylight. That daylight evaporates. High pass corralled by House. Down low for Boykin. And the North Carolinian will check it back out. Tries to get it over to Payne. It's tipped away. Stolen by Romello Ball. Five seconds left. Dickey for Romello Ball. All the way across. Henry Johnson. A three at the buzzer. He leaves it short. Kansas City dominates in the second half. And the Ruse improved to 2-0 on the season. They defeat Greenville by a final score of 138-97. And Kansas City claims the first game in the 2020 Negro Leagues Baseball Museum tip-off classic.